discuss animal studies of attachment. There are eight marks available for the question. We can see from the mark scheme that to achieve seven or eight marks, so to achieve the top mark band, the understanding of animal studies should be evident and well explained. So there should be lots of detail given. And then this needs to be followed by a discussion or an evaluation of these animal studies. And again, this should be strong and in depth. So it's this detail that's really important. The answer should be cohesive. So there should be a clear structure and technical language should be used throughout the response and always in an accurate way. Because this is a discuss question, we know that there will be both AO1 knowledge and AO3 evaluation marks available. There'll be four marks of AO1 and four marks of AO3. The question is asking about animal studies and you should be aware that there are two animal studies of attachment named on the specification. These are Lorenz and Harlow. So these should be the two that first come to mind. It's worth noting here that because both of these studies are named on the specification, you could be asked a direct question about either or both of these studies. But let's look at this example response. AO1 material will be highlighted in blue and AO3 material will be highlighted in pink. Lorenz, 1952, investigated imprinting in birds. He exposed newly hatched goslings to two stimuli, a natural mother goose and himself acting as a surrogate mother. He found that the goslings imprinted on the first moving object they saw during the critical period shortly after hatching. The goslings followed Lorenz as if he were their mother, demonstrating the imprinting process. He concluded that imprinting is an innate behaviour crucial for bonding and attachment with parental figures. Harlow 1958 looked at the importance of contact comfort versus nourishment. He conducted experiments using rhesus monkeys, providing them with two surrogate mothers, one made of wire with a feeding bottle and the other covered in soft cloth but without food. The findings showed that despite the availability of food from the wire mother, the infant monkeys preferred to spend time with a cloth mother seeking comfort and security. This shows that contact comfort, rather than food alone, is key to forming attachment relationships. Emotional support and physical contact are important. Animal studies of attachment have limitations regarding the generalisation of findings to humans due to species differences. Lorenz's research provided great insight into early bonding, but avian behaviour may not directly translate to human attachment patterns. There are vast biological differences between mammals and birds. However, studies like Harlow's with rhesus monkeys offer greater similarity to humans in terms of social structure and attachment behaviours, and so this could increase the generalizability of these results to humans. Findings from animal studies have clear practical applications and have helped zoos and animal adoption programmes. They ensure that animals receive physical touch and comfort during the early stages of life to ensure successful attachments are formed. Ethical issues are still a huge concern for animal research. Animals need to be protected and not caused extreme distress. Ethical considerations remain a significant limitation in the use of animal studies of attachment. Lorenz led the goslings to form an attachment with him rather than a mother goose, and Harlow denied some of the monkeys comfort and touch. Both of these actions could have caused distress. The response provides a comprehensive overview of two significant animal studies of attachment. These studies are both named in the specification and so should be studies that you have a detailed knowledge of. For each, the answer includes information on the aim, procedure, findings and conclusion. Looking further at this AO1 material, each study is presented with specific detail and this is really key to reach the top mark band. Ensuring that the aim, procedure, findings and conclusion are included, make sure that the right amount of detail and depth is included in the response. You don't need to be rigid here, so you don't need to include phrases like the aim is, the procedure was, the findings were, but just use this as a checklist to make sure you have included all the detail possible. Moving on to the AO3 evaluation material, a balanced assessment of both studies has been presented. Strengths such as the practical applications of the findings for zoos and animal adoption programmes has been acknowledged and this shows the positive impact of the research. Limitations have also been considered, particularly the ethical concerns. The critique of the ethical issues involved in both studies demonstrates an awareness of the ethical implications of animal research. The evaluation in a response like this does not need to be equal. You don't need to present the same number of strengths and limitations, but information on both must be presented. You'll note here again that the point explained consequence structure has been used for each of the three evaluative paragraphs. Again, this ensures that the correct depth and detail is included in the response. 
technical language has been used throughout the answer and is appropriate for discussing animal research. Terms such as imprinting, contact comfort, innate behaviour, attachment relationships are used accurately to describe the concepts that are being studied in each of the experiments. This demonstrates a strong command of the subject and enhances the quality of the response overall. Use appropriate psychological language whenever you possibly can.